Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for December 19th, 2023. Well, let's take a look at what happened overnight. We had Asian markets mostly higher last night, pushing back up as the Bank of Japan uh, chose to leave monetary policy under unchanged in a very super, super easy um, rate situation there in, in Japan. We had only Hong Kong uh, down last night, uh, three quarters of a point, while Shanghai was just ever slightly higher at 0.05% increase or a dollar fifty nine over there in Shanghai. If we take a look at the European markets, now European markets are mostly lower but mixed uh, this morning. So they're worried a little bit about the G7 finance meeting that's coming up here and um, all the central bank officials that will be there uh, speaking. So a little bit of concern there, but not here in the US. Um, I got up this morning and we were pretty much flat. We've already started the pre-market pump with just a little bit of green um, across the board here in our futures this morning. Oil this morning happens to be just a little bit flat. Um, although we are starting an operation to protect um, the Red Sea in shipping because of worries of global disruption of supply chain, um, Oil is, is holding pretty much um, unchanged here at the moment. And then looking at our uh, bonds, bonds are actually decreasing this morning, moving on lower, uh, continuing to just show lots and lots of confidence that the Fed is going to be rolling those rates here soon. We shall see. So what does all this mean? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Marker Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I am very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at some of these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Shaking off a little bit of bias here, and let's take a look at our diamonds. As you can see, the Dow just rested a little tiny bit yesterday. We're in a little consolidating move here on the diamonds. Had a little bit of selling coming in there yesterday, but really nothing um, to speak of. And one of the things that um, we saw yesterday as a declining volume. And that's something that we're going to have to watch as the week goes on because there is a pretty good chance volume levels could drop off pretty quickly. Of course, we have some data toward the end of the week that may spike things up again. One thing we have to make mention is uh, diamonds is at blue sky highs. So there really is no upside resistance here in the diamonds at the moment. So we'll want to keep that in mind. And if the bulls find inspiration, um, who knows the sky's the limit up there on the diamonds. If the bears happen to find some inspiration, however, pushing back down here to test this level of price support in the chart and maybe that trend would not be um, that big a trick now uh, unfortunately it's a pretty big point move if that were to occur um, so watch that carefully um, breaking through that little level support takes us down into here maybe a test of that trend failing through here is where everyone's going to get worried if that were to occur now we do want to keep in mind that although there's blue sky above we also have to keep in mind how parabolic a move this is and how far extended we are away from our uh, major moving averages. So keep that in mind. Um, um, at any point in time, that pullback can begin, and I have absolutely no idea when that's going to start, and there's certainly no evidence of it yet. Now, if we were to take a look at our SPY, SPY, also just kind of rested in there yesterday tried to push up just a little bit they were making a big effort in the magnificent seven yesterday to make things move um, pumped it up here just barely at the close 
broke that resistance that I showed you in the chart, comes way over here, these tops in 2021 and 2022. So if the bulls can continue to find inspiration here today, then look for that stretch up here to uh, test that um, all-time high here in the SPY. And I think there's every reason to believe that they're going to continue to attempt to get that because they really want the headlines of those new record highs here in the SPY, also the QQQ. Now, if the bears were to find inspiration today, maybe a push back down and we'll retest that little support area. But I think um, the first level of defense is probably going to be somewhere right in here on uh, the SPY chart. And if that were to fail, then we run that risk that we could drop down and retake um, uh, that great big candle over here to that stretch to the upside, testing some support in the chart, testing the trend here that I've got marked in the chart. So watch carefully for that. Looking at our moving averages on this, well, yeah, we're still extremely extended away, not nearly as extended as the Dow, but very extended away from our major moving averages, which gives me that sense that, you know, at any time um, we're going to, uh, if we stumble at all in this rally, the move down could be painful. So be prepared. Um, just you know, look at a chart for what it is, not for what you want it to be, and then you'll be better prepared um, when that circumstance um, does arise. And then if we take a look at QQQ, QQQ also had a good day yesterday pushing up. They were pushing really hard in that Magnificent Seven. And you can see we're coming very, very close to that all-time high breakout here in the queues. Now, I can't imagine that they're gonna stop that. Even with Hong Kong selling off last night, they're still pumping here in the pre-market this morning. They want that headline in a really bad way. So, and they only have to move a few of those magnificent seven stocks to make that occur. So watch that carefully. I would suspect that's going to be the case. But once we pop through there, I think all bets are off. Um, we pop through there and then we could see that um, uh, that high point in the market um, in the NASDAQ and start to see a potential pullback. So watch that carefully here. Now, if the bears do find that inspiration to pull back, then um, I'm going to look for a test back down here on this support area of the chart. Failing through here, of course, involves that trend and um, it could get a little bit painful if we pull down and start breaking down through that area of the chart. So watch that carefully. Remember, it's entirely possible that we could just stay range bound here as well. Remember, markets move three ways. There's a 33% chance we move up, a 33% chance we move down, and a 33% chance we move sideways. So remember, markets spend an awful lot of time in sideways move moves despite this just rambunctious run to the upside here, um, exploding these PE ratios, um, we do end up spending an awful lot of time in consolidation or a protracted pullback after such a run to the upside. And then if we take a look at our IWM, IWM also I tried yesterday to get moving, but and, you know, ultimately just ended up resting. This thing has rallied straight up in a parabolic move. There's just no other way to describe that. That is a parabolic move to the upside. So this really does need some rest in here. And we're resting in a good spot. Notice this trend break right in here right there. If we can hold um, above that area and just kind of consolidate back out here toward the trend, we're in really good shape. So if the bulls do find inspiration today, first thing we want to do is we want to look and see if we can break these little highs here, see if we can pop on through and then maybe stretch up here to that next resistance level. As you can see that I've got marked right across this area here. And if the bears find that inspiration pushing back, maybe a test of these lows and that trend in here, falling below there might get some excitement going here in um, IWM because we left a giant gap behind that could easily be filled. So watch carefully for that possibility. Then let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX 
popping up just a little bit yesterday. So kind of odd. We saw um, bulls pushing, pushing, pushing. But there seems to be a worry here in the VIX, just a little bit of worry, that maybe we're getting way too extended here. And there's certainly a lot of reports um, in the from the talking heads out there that were awfully frothy here in the market but you can see pushing up into that downtrend um, this doesn't get ugly will not get ugly unless we break out of there and we end up holding some kind of a higher low that's where the uh, bears oftentimes kind of get engaged and take over so watch that um, very very um, um, complacent here in the market right now at these low levels of the VIX. And then if we take a look at our T2122, our T2122, well, we started pushing yesterday, pushed up here. We were nearly right up here. We were right in here in that uh, bearish reversal zone, just really pushing, trying to get back up in there. And then that little bit of fade, uh, pushing things back, dropped us back down. So if we take a look at this today, um, if the bulls find that inspiration, we certainly have upside room. We've created a little bit of room for them to continue to squeeze this to the upside. If the bears happen to find inspiration today, then you just want to keep in mind, we've got this big open hole uh, down here. We have stayed elevated for so long that if it does start to sell, look for those profit takers to come in quickly to protect their capital. If we take a look at our T2108, percentage of stocks above the 40 day moving average, you can see it just tweaked up yesterday. Most of the day it was kind of flat but just kind of tweaked up just a little tiny bit so we continue to stay up here in this very elevated area 75 and a quarter percent anything in here the 75 80 percent range is extremely uh puffed up and you can see what's where we typically find that reason to sell and pull back so watch that carefully here and if we don't find that reason to sell or pull back look for a very long term consolidation here in the market if we take a look at our t2107 t2107 also right at the end of the day found that energy to perk up there just a little tiny bit um, again pushing up here in the 60 area now this probably has a little bit more room to go up there toward the 60 65 area um, to the upside if we can break this resistance here in the chart if those bulls can get going if the bears were to come in just kind of keep in mind we've got quite a little bit of support in here so and there's no sign in this chart that they're ready to do that but just remember um, the more and more frothy we become um, oftentimes the more difficult or painful the pullback can be so just be prepared for that and then if we take a look at our t2101 t2101 the breadth continued to expand so those bulls are maintaining control here in the market let's watch that closely if they can continue to expand that breadth maybe we do make those breakouts to all-time highs in the spy and the qqq here soon let's take a look at our economic calendar for today now our economic calendar we got just a little bit on here to be thinking about first thing this morning before the market opens we're going to get the housing starts and permits looking at that they are actually looking for a little bit of a decline in housing starts and permits which is interesting considering the fact that um, our rates have been coming down you would think that we would be seeing these kick back higher so we we'll want to watch that closely this could be one of those um, little bit of market manipulations provide a low estimate beat that estimate and then get a little bit more motivation to the upside but we'll see and then if we take a look um, uh, we've got Bostic speaking today. We've got Goolsby speaking today. And if you saw what Goolsby said yesterday, he was a little confused as to what, why the market was ripping to the upside like this after that statement, because they are not considering rate cuts yet. So interesting here how the market has decided they know what the Fed's going to do, even when it seems like most of the Fed members are saying they're not so sure. So watch that carefully today. So pretty light day. Now remember, tomorrow we pick things up just a little bit. We've got mortgage apps 
consumer confidence, existing home sales and a petroleum status number with a 20 year bond auction. So uh, just picking things up just a little bit as we head into that GDP number here for um, for the week. Now, um, just a heads up to everyone, I wanted to let you all know that we are trying to encourage uh, folks to just take a little bit of time off. Uh, volumes are likely to start to drop, maybe as early as Wednesday, but certainly Thursday and Friday, volumes will likely decline. We'll get some volatility around these uh, big data points on those mornings, but then look for very stagnant price action for the rest of the day. And so Friday, RWO will be closed, which means um, there will be no video on Friday. So, so I thought I'd just um, point that out for everyone. So thank you so much for everyone who supports the channel. But we're going to take a little holiday break. Let's take a look at um, um, our economic or excuse me our earnings calendar here this morning we do have a few notables here to be paying attention to here today we're going to be hearing from uh, FedEx keep an eye on that we've got FedEx reporting today we're going to hear from FDS FDS will be reporting we've got F cell reporting today we're going to hear from SCS steel case and we've got WOR here this morning um, for some of those notables so kind of keep an eye on those today um, we'll want to watch those closely let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that everyone if you could do me this quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could do me that favor and that would be click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow and thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that I appreciate it remember even an emoji counts as engagement and it's the engagement with the video that actually uh, convinces YouTube to show this video to more folks. So thank you everyone, um, truly appreciate it. And honestly, thank you so much for all the kind comments uh, to the channel, I, it means the world to me. Thank you very, very much. Let's take a look at uh, some stock setting up. And remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You need to be doing uh, your own due diligence. Make sure that whatever you decide to do in a trade, it's based on your trade plan, your risk tolerances. You should never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. Well, to start out this morning, with those bonds falling, um, uh, bond yields falling, take a look at TLT. TLT is continuing to move up. Now I keep thinking this has got that chance that it's going to pull back pretty substantially here soon. Um, we're very, very elevated and again, another one of those parabolic moves in the market. And if you'll look right in here, we're coming into a substantial level of price resistance. So watch that carefully. The good news is that if we can break this downtrend here and hold it as a higher low, hold it as a higher low in here, then we may still have more upside coming here in TLT in the near future. But I would be watching for a little bit of rest or pullback consolidation in here unless something major changes. But looking very good on that TLT uh, position and, and I hope everyone is enjoying the ride here. That's looking really, really good. And other bond um, bond areas just been zooming. Take a look at BND. Now BND, little pop and drop going on here in the pre-market but you can see also coming in to some significant resistance areas of the chart but any rest or pullback holding some of these support areas in here would set up that next opportunity to the upside uh, take a look at tips bonds they've also just been running straight up here probably coming into some resistance and again needing a little bit of rest but I would keep a pretty close eye on that still looking very very good and then if we take a look at um, even junk bonds junk bonds um, really strong move to the upside finally getting a little bit of a pull pullback here 
any rest or pullback that holds support areas in here may set up that next opportunity to pick up some moves here in those bonds. Let's take a look at um, some other areas of the market besides bonds. How about we take a look a little bit in the oil area. Take a look at XLE. XLE breaking through that downtrend. Now this whole disruption in the Red Sea and attacks in the Red Sea could create all kinds of supply chain problems. So we'll want to keep an eye on this if we start to hold higher lows here after breaking this downtrend i think we still need to push through a little bit more here on xle push on through and hold up in here and then look for that opportunity that oil could start rallying back up well you can see what i just drew out there kind of a head and shoulders pattern in um, XLE. You'll want to watch carefully for that possibility and you may want to start looking at some of the components here of, of XLE and some of those um, oil stocks that have been really beaten down for that upside move. If you're looking for something that has just held up extremely well, I don't know what Philip 66 is doing that's so much different than the other oil um, producers out there, but Philip 66 popping to new highs here as you can see just continuing to stay very very bullish if you look across here this is a huge breakout in Philip 66 this is a weekly chart huge breakout in here so watch that closely holding up here um, in that area if, if oil starts to surge back up I would expect this to make one of the bigger moves um, to the upside and then of course I think you have to kind of pay attention to um, Occidental um, if you saw the news Warren Buffett adding a massive uh, position as this pulled back so I think it's 600 million dollars added to his position here in Occidental so watch that carefully here um, just because he buys doesn't mean this is a buy but um, the pattern is what I'm interested in. If we break that downtrend and end up holding a higher low, then look for that next opportunity to the upside there in Occidental. We should also take a look at um, our utilities. Um, utilities have had just that big spike and that pullback that we probably needed because we just went straight up here. This is really going to depend on how bonds continue, bonds and, and currency continues to trade. If we continue to see that um, these bond yields are falling and falling and falling and anything that's cash required um, like utilities could see that move to the upside because typically what occurs is when those bonds are pulling back that we see the dollar falling as well. Dollar falls and companies like um, um, utilities tend to do a better job. So big old whipsaw in here but I still think it's worth watching that and if you take a look some of the some of the stocks in this um, oops I got to get the right symbol in this sector still holding bullish trends overall so this nice little upside trend here in NEE pulling back to hold that trend pulling back to find some support look for that next opportunity to the upside other places that I think are kind of interesting to be paying um, attention to is some of those defensive sector areas of the market um, a coke trying to pop through and go had a little rest a little pullback still holding in here on this support area watch for that opportunity to that move to, to move on higher um, KHC has finally relieved some of this buy pressure here nice little pullback in here if this holds above this support area here in the chart look for that next opportunity there in KHC uh, 3M 3M had a little bit of selling in there yesterday but you can see this big run to the upside resting now resting out here just look for that next opportunity this is a big downtrend break I mean huge downtrend break and if that can hold up in here I would look for that opportunity to the upside you might also want to be keeping an eye on some of these home built um, home stores um, 
Lowe's. Lowe's making this big, strong leap to the upside on its earnings report. Now resting. Now, this may have to rest. Notice how well we respected this trend. All the buying came in right there off of that trend. Rest out here, but look for that next opportunity there in Lowe's. Home Depot has just been so soaring to the upside. Here again, another stock that is just extremely parabolic. But you can see no one wants to sell in here. We've broken through these areas of the chart. So rest or pullback would set up that opportunity to do so. Um, saw some um, interesting moves here in some retail yesterday. Um, uh, Nordstrom's pushing on through, trying to hold this price support. A little bit of bullishness coming in here. Watch for that next move to the upside if Nordstrom's can stay strong. And Chewy. Chewy struggled a lot here. It looked like it was going to move up and then fell all apart on its earnings. We've rejected the, those earnings and just said we don't care. We're pushing back up. So watch here where we're popping through this little support area of the chart. I would say any rest or pullback now sets up that opportunity for Chewy to move on higher. And my goodness, this thing has been beaten down. So watch carefully for that opportunity here in Chewy. So there's a few stocks for you to pay attention to, a few things that you might want to be interested in. I want to wish everyone a fantastic day. Thanks so much for listening today. I truly appreciate it. And I'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Have yourself a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care, everyone.